Mr. Van Deest, appreciate you taking the time today to discuss with me uh, our new Marion University Athletic Scholarship. So just to start, kind of want to review the project with you, explain to you what our campaign is for this nonprofit. Uh, our goal is to provide scholarship aid for athletes looking to attend our university that can't afford it otherwise. So we're looking at any underprivileged students, um, people who may not have been as lucky or as fortunate as maybe you or I, that we're able to afford these institutions on our own uh, and provide some of that extra additional aid for them. So the goal of it, if you kind of look here, our goal over our five-year plan, uh, we have a projection over the next five years, our capital campaign is to raise $400,000. So the goal with that is to provide 10 students from the year 2027 at the end of this campaign. Through the year 2037, we pick one student a year, provide them with $10,000 of scholarship each year for their four years um, throughout that time. So it's a $40,000 scholarship total for 10 of those students. So our goal is to raise $400,000 just to provide that extra additional aid for them. Um, those students will receive that all four years, pending you know, academic standing, and that all things are going well in terms of their uh, moral conduct on campus as well. So I think the benefit of this program obviously is just to provide opportunities for students. You know, for us as a smaller university on the private end, a lot of times we're a very selective committee. The same students, the same type of clientele are always coming to our university. We just want to broaden our horizons, give more students a chance to experience what Marion has to offer beyond what other students are. Um, so the big why with this, you know, for us, obviously we don't have a ton of athletic aid at our institution. Um, so a lot of students are completely reliant on loans or other opportunities to be able to afford college where not everybody has the financial means to do so. So for us, we saw it as a great way to recognize one student in every incoming freshman class and give them an opportunity to come to school that they might not otherwise be able to. So our goal right now, as we're going through this, is to find some of our major donors. Obviously, you've been a big supporter of the university throughout your years, uh, and you were a name that came across as someone who might be able to be a major donor that we recognize as a big piece of this. Our goal with the different levels of donations is we have gold level, silver level, all the way down to the blue line level. So in that regard, for us, we're looking today to hopefully get on board with you and see if there's any possibility of you becoming a gold member. Um, so the resignation, the your recognition for that would be member of the gold club. Uh, we'd have a big plaque that we're going to display at the athletic facilities. As a gold club member, you would have your name in gold on the plaque as a list of all the donors with the gold being at the top um, with that big res recognition. As well, on top of that, we would send you some team apparel for the school um, with a golf polo that you can wear to the country club in the summer. Um, so our goal today with you, um, what we would like to see is if it would be possible for you to provide a $40,000 scholarship. Now with that, again, that would be, you know, a big chunk of what we're trying to raise and that support would go directly to the student athletes and be an opportunity um, that is greatly appreciated for them. So, you know, that's obviously what we're here to kind of talk about today and the gift that we're hoping to get from you. You know, what questions might you have about the program? Well, the $40,000 donation, is that upfront a one-time donation? Can it be installments over X amount of years or how are you looking to do that uh, with regard to your capital campaign? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So right now we're kind of in our quiet period. We're look, reaching out to just our major donors. Um, our goal is to kind of be done with this aspect of it within the next 18 months. So obviously whatever is easiest for you in that time, um, we're in that first two years of this campaign. So for us, if we could receive that gift at some point, whether it be monthly installments, quarterly installments, um, you know, if you want to pay three times each, every six months, whatever's easiest for you financially that you can afford, um, at any time, if that $40,000 could come in over the 18 months, ideally that would be good to help us with our projections to be on pace for what we're doing with our campaign. Is there a certain criteria that you're looking for in terms of GPAs, in-state students, male, female, is there a ratio that you're looking at? How are you got to break, who's, is there going to be a committee that's going to break that down? Yeah, so we have a committee set up right now. So it includes our VP of enrollment. Um, we have three of the women's sports coaches and three of the men's sports coaches. Uh, and the seven of them uh, are compiling a list right now. Again, we're not giving this out till 2027, but our goal with this is to provide the opportunity for students who might not otherwise be able to afford our school. So it's not just at, used as an additional way to get a better recruit that may be to flash money in front of them. 
Uh, for us, we are looking at academic integrity, extracurriculars. Uh, there's talk of an essay portion being a part of it, but overall, the seven of them will kind of rain through all the applicants that apply for it and see not only who's in the most need of that money, but also who's most deserving uh, in mind, body, and spirit. Great. So obviously a lot for you to mull over. Don't expect an answer today, but um, just wondering if there's a time sometime soon that we could kind of follow up and discuss this at greater length. It would be great. I'd like to visit with my wife and we could talk about it and maybe the next week to 10 days if that works in your schedule. Yeah, um, that works great. How are you next Thursday? Does that work for you? Yeah, Thursday would be fine. Anytime, uh, anytime on Thursday in the afternoon. Okay, uh, so right now I'll set us in uh, for a meeting at 4 p.m. on Thursday if that works for you. Back in your office? Back in my okay. office if that works. Sounds great. Thank you. All right, sounds good. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Yeah.